Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Faith and right now you could describe me as a disheveled, nomadic, plant-based mom of two who really needs to do some meal prep. We just arrived at my parents' house the other day and since we arrived, we've been waking up at all different hours because of jet lag and I've just been scrummaging random breakfasts for my kids because I have nothing prepared. So that is the mission today. I'm going to make some granola, some apple crumb muffins, tofu scramble, and some hummus. So if any of that sounds good to you or you just wanna see how I meal prep even when I'm living with other people and traveling around, then stay tuned. I don't know if you guys are the same, but I love to use tried and true recipes whenever I'm meal prepping. Just recipes that I make all the time that I don't have to look at the recipe for just because I don't have a lot of time in the kitchen and I need to meal prep quickly. So quite a few of these recipes are ones that I've made before. I know how to make them and they come together really quickly like this tahini granola. If you're new to my channel, you'll find that a lot of my recipes are really straightforward. I try to use the fewest ingredients possible and nothing too hard to find at your local grocery store just because I travel a lot, I live with other people, and I don't like buying a lot of weird food. So this granola is pretty basic. It's just some oats, nuts. You can use whatever nut or seed butter you have on hand. And then I'm using maple syrup for sweetness. Just gonna spread this out into an even layer. Fill out the whole pan so it's not too thick. And then I'll show you my trick for making super clustery, stuck together, crunchy granola. One thing I love to do is position my racks to be on the very bottom and the very top. And this allows me to bake it for 10 minutes on the top to bake the top of the granola and then I move it to the bottom for the last part and this allows me not to have to flip my granola and it gets it super crunchy without breaking it up. So definitely try this trick out. While most of the recipes I make when I meal prep are ones that I don't have to think too much about and are very easy and simple to prepare, I also love to experiment in the kitchen. So today I wanted to try out a recipe for some apple crumb muffins. I had just made some homemade applesauce the day before and had a bunch of it. So I thought, oh, let's make something fun, a little bit more of a treat with some crumb topping on top. So that was what I was doing here. Just have my dry ingredients and then I added my applesauce, some aquafaba instead of an egg, and some melted vegan butter. These are definitely more decadent than I would make on a regular basis, but I thought my kids and my husband would love them. And they did. These were super delicious. I am at my parents' house right now and they don't have a muffin tin, so I had to use silicone muffin liners on a baking dish, but it worked. It did the job. Basically, I just divided the batter among 12 muffin liners and then I made a crumb topping with some brown sugar flour, a little bit of cinnamon and vegan butter, and sprinkled that on top to give these muffins a nice crumb topping. That was super delicious and a fun Christmas treat for my family. I love to feed my family wholesome whole food plant-based recipes, but I still also love to bake more special treats around the holidays or for birthdays, so you'll see a good mix of wholesome, whole food plant-based recipes on my channel, as well as some more decadent treats that involve flour and sugar and vegan butter. We kind of eat it all in my family, and so I want to show that pretty realistically in my channel. So hopefully you guys enjoy all the kind of recipes that I make and will enjoy these apple crumb muffins for a fun, special holiday treat. I don't know why I forget about tofu scramble because it's so easy, so adaptable, and super delicious. So I had a pack of tofu on hand, so I thought I would just make a super simple tofu scramble. My parents didn't have a lot of the spices I would normally use, like nutritional yeast and stuff. So I just sauteed some finely chopped onion and some garlic in a little bit of olive oil before mashing in my firm tofu. I didn't press it or anything, I just mashed it in as is, and then I allowed the pan 
to get super hot and the tofu to sit and get a little bit of char and crispiness on the pieces. And all I used to season this other than the fresh onion and garlic was some salt and pepper. Normally I'd add some nutritional yeast for cheesiness or garlic salt for flavor, but this is all I had and it was still really good. And because it was such a simple flavor, it was great for not only breakfast, but also lunches and dinner throughout the week. So hummus may not seem like a popular breakfast item, but I love it on toast with the tofu scramble or even my savory chickpea flour crepes. Anything savory I feel like hummus goes with. So I whipped up a big batch of my favorite hummus. I start by whipping lemon juice and tahini until thick and creamy. And then I add in my chickpeas, salt, cumin, garlic and blend that again until mostly smooth before adding in either olive oil if I want a super rich and creamy hummus or you can use aquafaba which is what I did this week. Aquafaba is a great way to make your hummus super creamy without adding a lot of extra oil so I do that occasionally and this hummus turned out beautifully. So as I've been making my muffins and hummus, this granola has cooled beautifully. And because I didn't stir it, it should come up in these big crunchy sheets. Let's try a piece. Oh yeah, so good. I can't even get it up. It's like stuck together in one big sheet. So I'm just gonna break this up now and store it in an airtight container and it will go great with yogurt or on top of oatmeal or smoothie bowls. And we should be set for granola for quite a while now. I'm telling you guys, the top and bottom rack trick makes the best granola. Next up, got this super creamy hummus. I'm telling you guys, if you haven't made your own hummus yet, you really need to give it a try. I even make it with an immersion blender. I've made it in a blender food processor. So if you have any of those appliances, definitely try making your own hummus. It's so adaptable. You could add different spices, use different beans, fresh herbs. Possibilities are endless and it's so good. Yum. This will be so good on toast with the tofu scramble for quick savory breakfasts. Got our very simple tofu scramble because my parents don't have everything I normally use. It'll still be just nice to have a flavorful protein source on hand for quick breakfasts. And we've got our muffins. Which I probably overbaked because I was filming, but that is all of our meal prep. All right, guys, it's been about an hour and 15 minutes, and that includes filming. And I have four amazing breakfast options ready for me and my family. I've got the tofu scramble to pair with hummus or avocado on toast. I've got these beautiful treat like apple crumb muffins that my kids are going to love and a bunch of granola that didn't even fit in the Tupperware. I've got a bunch behind me. So if you guys are short on time, busy, traveling, living in different kitchens, you totally can do this. And I hope this video encourages you to take a little bit of time out of your week to meal plan to make your life simpler and to help you eat healthier. I am about to hear my family walk through the door. They went to the park. So I'm going to get all cleaned up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.